after this discovery that all the positive charges containing all the mass of the atom are located at center of the atom, Rutherford made his model of an atom. And in this model, contrary to his predecessor's model, he told that there is a nucleus and the shape of the atom is spherical. The nucleus is at the center and there are electrons of the negative part, negative particles which are revolving around it in circles. The net charge is zero because the positive charge is equal to the negative charges of the electron. So if the positive charge is 4 in the nucleus, there will be 4 electrons carrying 1 E charge each and the 4 electrons are moving around this nucleus. Okay. That was his model. Now if an electron, he made the model of hydrogen, there is plus E charge in the nucleus and there is one electron which is moving around it and this electron has got charge minus E. Okay. What is the energy of this system or energy of this electron? The answer is this electron has got two type of energy. One is due to its motion because it is moving and other is due to its force of attraction this is minus plus and there is a distance between the two, the radius of the orbit. So there is a potential energy due to force of attraction and the distance and there is a kinetic energy due to velocity. Let us calculate kinetic energy, potential energy and the total energy. Here this is an example of circular motion where there is an involvement of centripetal force without which the circular, force, circular motion is not possible. And we know that centripetal force, centripetal force of electron, this has to be mv square upon r. Who provides this centripetal force? Answer, this uh, electrostatic attraction by this is providing the centripetal force in this direction. What happens? The electron wants to go in this direction, but this centripetal force pull it back and this position comes here. Again it wants to go in this direction, but it pull it back, it comes here. In this way, it keeps on moving. Yes. So in this way, this electrostatic force act as centripetal force. So, okay, centripetal force of electron is mv square upon r. This is equal to electrostatic force between minus E and plus E of the nucleus. This is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 upon r square that is E into E upon R square. This is the force which acts as centripetal force. With this we can uh, convert it as, okay, let us take it on this side and this will be Let us divide both sides with 2. So this will be mv square, mv square half is equal to 1 upon 8 pi epsilon naught e square upon r square and we are cancelling 1 r. So e square upon r. And this half mv square is what? This is formula for kinetic energy. So kinetic energy is equal to 1 upon 8 pi epsilon naught e square upon r. 
this is kinetic energy and what is its sign plus kinetic energy is always positive. Then what about potential energy? For potential energy we know the formula is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 upon r square. So if we put these values then 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q1 is minus e q2 is plus e upon r square sorry potential energy no square only r square is in the formula of force q1 q2 upon r square this is potential energy so potential energy we have the formula q1 q2 upon r q1 q2 upon r so this is equal to again 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught and this is e square upon r and here the sign is plus into minus minus this is the potential energy if this is the potential energy this is kinetic energy then what is the total energy of the electron total energy of electron total energy of electron is ke plus pe now ke plus pe if we add the two what do we get here e square upon pi epsilon naught r e square upon pi epsilon naught r e square upon pi epsilon naught r and in the bracket we have 1 upon 4 sorry 1 upon 8 minus 1 upon 4 1 upon 8 minus 1 upon 4 so this is equal to minus 1 upon 8 e square upon oh sorry e square upon pi epsilon naught r this is Ke plus Pe that is total energy. So now we have three figures. According to Rutherford's model in hydrogen, there is a positive charge nucleus. There is an electron which is moving all around it with certain radius r and it has potential energy this much kinetic energy this much and total energy this much. This total energy carrying negative sign what does it tell? It tells us that because the energy is negative there is a force of attraction and it will always remain in the orbit. If we want to release it we must give it so much energy positive so that it the total energy will become zero then it is free to go anywhere. So these are the energy equations for electrons and with the help of this we proceed further for uh, different energy levels and for different molecules for different atoms okay so uh, we will study that in the next lectures thank you